Hi guys and welcome to Tech Paste. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 25H2 preview build in the dev channel. And in this video, we are talking about the build 26200.5751. This build is quite a big one because we have some really interesting new features that I think you're gonna like. And of course, in this video, we're gonna cover everything that there is new to this build related to this 25H2 preview build. And if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to Tech Paste channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, to get things out of the way, as you're used to, I'm just gonna mention a new AI feature that Microsoft is adding, and they are introducing new selection modes in Click To Do, which are basically free form selection, rectangle selection, and control plus click, which will give you more control and flexibility than before using Click To Do. More info about this, of course, of course, you can find in the official Microsoft blog post. Now, moving on to the highlight of this build, Microsoft is finally adding dark mode for the copy dialog, rename dialogues and some other dialogues in Windows 11. Yeah, after all these years, Microsoft is finally doing that and this is present in this build and the beta channel and also in the release preview channel, which basically means that we may see this on the main release as well in about one or two weeks time. I think that is great. So let me just show you how that is looking. For testing purposes, I have here two partitions and we're just gonna copy a large file so that we can see how this is looking. This new copy dialogue, first of all, I have here the new partition and on my desktop, I have a large ISO file, which we're just gonna copy. I'm gonna drag it over here and let's see the new copy dialog. As you can see, this is the new copy dialog. It now has dark mode. Nothing else was changed, of course, but it looks really, really good. We finally have dark mode for these types of dialogues as well. And also I'm gonna show you some other dialogues that also have dark mode. And I think this is a great change that Microsoft is finally adding after all this time. Also, if I were to try to delete this, this dialog is also in dark mode right now. And another Another type of dialogue that was made with dark mode is the administrative privileges needed dialogue. So for example, if I try to rename this file, you're going to notice that we also have another dark mode dialogue folder access tonight. A huge shout out to Phantom of Earth on Twitter or x.com for finding this feature. This is hidden in this build, but of course I'm going to show you maybe tomorrow in a video how to manually enable this on your computer if you have the release preview channel, beta channel, or the dev channel. So of course, make sure to follow him, Phantom of Earth on Twitter or x.com from the pinned comment below, he discovered this. Also, we now have a new deep loading method in Windows 11 by default. We've talked about this before, but if you go to the group policy editor, then to administrative templates, then Windows components, and then app package deployment, you're gonna be able to see this new policy, remove default Microsoft Store packages from the system. And if you double click on it, you're gonna be able to customize this. You're gonna be able to uncheck apps that you don't want to be on your system, but pay attention, this only works for newly created users at the moment. So we're going to have to create a new user for these changes to take effect. I think this is pretty interesting. Related to the File Explorer, Microsoft is also updating the Open With section of the File Explorer context menu. When right-clicking a file to remove the accent colored backplate behind packaged app icons in the list, for example, for snipping tool, in doing this, the icons should be bigger and easier to see now. I think this is a great little change. Microsoft is also announcing the new taskbar animations. Basically, whenever you have multiple apps opened, we now have a new animation that will help us transition between apps. For example, this is the new animation. As you can see, it, it is pretty smooth, pretty nice. I think I like it quite a lot. We also have a new snipping tool app update. To get this, of course, you're going to have to open up the Microsoft Store, then go into the download section, and then click on check for updates to get all the latest updates. But basically, the snipping tool is now getting a window mode screen recording function, which I think is pretty nice. As you can see, I'm up to date right now. I'm just going to open snipping tool myself. If we select the recording function and click on new, we should have the window mode recording function. Unfortunately, it is not rolled out yet for me, but you're also going to see on the screen how that is looking whenever you're doing that and also how it works whenever you are recording a window, for example, the paint window. Moving on to fixes in this build, first of all, related to the taskbar and system tray, Microsoft fixed an issue where if you were using the option to show additional clocks, the date and time tooltip may show them duplicated. And also after updating to the current dev channel builds, apps pinned to the taskbar should no longer be unpinned. Related to the start menu inside this build, Microsoft fixed an issue for insiders with the new start menu with the previous flight where the layout might temporarily show a smaller start menu, for example, six columns of pinned apps instead of eight. They also fixed an issue for insiders with the new start menu where it wasn't opening when in safe mode. Fix an issue where when right-clicking on start menu, the context menu may appear far away from the start menu that is now fixed. And they also fixed an issue where the hide the Spain option for the mobile device companion for the short menu may be difficult to see if the option to use a custom accent color has been enabled for the start.
start menu. Related to the File Explorer, Max I fixed an issue where in dark mode, the red color used for low space drive in this PC was unexpectedly light colored in the latest builds, and some of the other colors were incorrect, including the black that was used for space remaining instead of a more visible color. Related to login and lock screen, Max I fixed an issue where some of the login options were shown as blank square icons. They also did some work to help improve lock screen reliability by fixing a few underlying issues which could result in the lock screen hanging. We also have some other fixes, for example, they fixed an issue causing some insiders to experience an increase in DWM crashes in the previous flight, and they also fixed an issue where if you'd used the option to move the hardware indicators while the hardware indicator was visible, you wouldn't be able to interact with the screen area underneath spanning the length of the screen. We also have two new known issues, for example, related to the File Explorer for some users, the shared section in the File Explorer home may be visible even if there is no content to be displayed, as you can see right now, and also related to settings, Microsoft is investigating reports that settings, system, and then storage, and then temporary files is getting stuck when scanning files. They're also investigating previous Windows installations also not showing. So this will be fixed in a future build. So this is the latest Insider preview build for the Div channel as a preview for Windows 11 25 H2. I think this is a pretty interesting build with the addition of the new dark mode for the copy dialogues and more. And of course, please let me know below in the comments what you think about this new build. For more information, as always, you can check out the article below, the official Microsoft blog post, or Phantom over Earth on Twitter or X.com. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Zumani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.